Hey everyone, and welcome to What Did I Miss? Where today I'll be going over all the news that came out of the Star Trek panels at New York Comic Con 2022. Members of the cast of Picard, Discovery, and Prodigy were on hand to talk about their upcoming seasons, as well as debut new trailers for their respective series, and give some hints as to other projects down the line. There really was a lot of news, so I'm going to get right into it, but first, I want to thank you for clicking on this video, and ask that if you do enjoy it, to remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons to help support the channel. Let's first start with the series that is still in the midst of its first season, and that is the animated series Star Trek Prodigy. The series debuted in October of 2021, and released 10 episodes in total in the following weeks, and will return with the second half of its first season, October 27th of this year. The trailer showed off additions to the series, as Kate Mulgrew will be pulling double duty by now voicing two distinct characters, one being the holographic version of her character, and another being the living version who is now an admiral. Admiral Janeway is seen in the trailer searching for the protostar with her new crew while the android version of Janeway continues to enlighten her crew on what it means to be Starfleet. The trailer also revealed that we would be seeing a Denoblian Starfleet officer, which I believe is the first time we have seen a member of this race on screen since Dr. Phlox on Star Trek Enterprise. It also looks like the crew of the protostar will be facing off against the Borg, which makes sense given their place in the Delta Quadrant as well as Janeway's history with the evil cybernetic species. It was also revealed during the panel that Ronnie Cox will be returning to play his infamous character Edward Jellico, who debuted in the Next Generation two-part episode Chain of Command. Now Admiral Jellico seemed to be categorized as one of the antagonists this season, so I would guess he is not too happy about Admiral Janeway going to the Delta Quadrant to search for a ship. The character Thaddean Okona will also be returning, voiced once again by Billy Campbell, reprising his role from the Next Generation episode, The Outrageous Okona. One of the best things about the Star Trek animated series is that they are able to bring back these actors after so many years to reprise their roles, and Lower Decks has also been bringing back characters like this such as General Martok and members of the cast of Deep Space Nine this season. But during the panel, Alex Kurtzman was asked once again about the future of the character Catherine Janeway in live action, and this time, he seemed to hint that there are plans underway to bring the character back in some way. His exact words were, Here's what I'm going to say. Things have been talked about, that's all I'm going to say. But nothing would make me happier than to bring Janeway back. I think it would be an incredible, incredible thing to do. There might be an idea in play, who knows, but I would love it to happen. It is obvious that he's trying not to say too much, but by stating that the possibility of bringing Admiral Janeway back to screen has been discussed is enough for Star Trek fans to rejoice. Her character, probably even more so than Picard, has gained more and more reverence over the years since Voyager went off the air with many fans now calling the character one of the most important of the late 20th century. Even her former castmate Jerry Ryan, who plays Seven of Nine, has seen a resurgence in popularity thanks largely to her role on the series Picard, with many people wondering what will happen to her character after Picard ends its third and final season, and if she will continue on in her own series or another. I think the stage is set for Janeway to return either in limited series form or perhaps on an ongoing series similar to Picard. Having her on Prodigy now, and playing not just one but two versions of herself will be a lot of fun to watch, but I'm sure everyone would rather see Janeway back on screen in her own series. Allowing her to reunite with Seven would also be a great way to bridge all these characters together. But let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on a new series starring Admiral Janeway. If you are interested, my friend Nick from the YouTube channel SciFanatics and I spoke about this subject recently in a video that I will leave a link to if you would like to check it out. Members of the cast of Star Trek Discovery were also on hand to debut a full trailer for their upcoming fifth season. While there is still no release date, I would expect this season to debut in 2023 after the upcoming seasons of Picard and Strange New Worlds. However, a synopsis was released for the season which reads, In Season 5, Captain Burnham and the crew of the USS Discovery uncover a mystery that sends them on an epic adventure across the galaxy to find an ancient power whose very existence has been deliberately hidden for centuries. But there are others on the hunt as well dangerous foes who are desperate to claim the prize for themselves and will stop at nothing to get it. This makes the season sound more like a treasure hunt than a mission to save the galaxy, which I think could be more akin to the second season of Discovery in which the crew were chasing the Red Angel. Also, the comment about the mystery being centuries old may allude to the fact that it ties back to something from the old Star Trek era. The trailer does look a lot more fun than the last two seasons of the show have, so perhaps the writers and producers of Discovery have listened to some of the criticism about the grim nature of the series. A few new cast members were also announced for the season, one being a character named Captain Rayner, who will be played by Callum Keith Rennie. I really like this actor in the series The Umbrella Academy, and his character description sounds a lot like a Jellico no-nonsense type captain, that I am sure will clash with Michael Burnham's way of doing things. Eve Harlow was also added to the cast, and I really liked her in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., so I think that these will be good additions to the series. 
The trailer itself didn't reveal that much, but it does look like the crew will be traveling to a lot more planets and locales this season. Honestly, this trailer makes Discovery seem more like a Star Wars series on Disney+, Plus, so maybe the show has decided to take some cues from the shows over there. But the panel that everyone has been talking about has been the Picard panel, where they revealed a ton of information about the third and final season of the series. First of all, an epic trailer was released that I've already put out a video for that you should definitely watch, so I will leave a link to that here in the corner of the video and in the description for you to check out after this. But to give you the bullet points here, first of all, Amanda Plummer was revealed to be playing the main villain of the season. I've been a big fan of hers ever since her singular performance in the movie Pulp Fiction, and I think that she can play a terrifying and sympathetic villain better than most. I would expect her character to be one that is easy to hate at first, but also someone that we eventually feel compassion toward. The only other details about her character that were revealed were that her name is Vadik, that she is an alien of some type, and that she is the captain of a very powerful ship named the Shrike. Besides getting some more scenes with the returning cast members from The Next Generation, Worf, Geordi LaForge, Dr. Beverly Crusher, Will Riker, and Deanna Troy, we also got a couple surprises. Those being the return of the character Lore, Data's brother, who will be once again played by Brent Spiner. Fans have been speculating for months who Mr. Spiner would be playing since we had not seen him in any of the promotional materials for the season. Bringing Lore back brings up a lot of questions, but the next character reveal may be an answer to some, which is that Danny Davis will be returning to play the holographic character first created by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and then brought to life on the Enterprise D in the Next Generation episode Elementary My Dear Data, Professor James Moriarty. A commenter on my video about the trailer brought up a very good theory about these two characters which I happen to agree with, which is that after Lore becomes a problem for the cast this season as a secondary villain, that they will bring back Moriarty to defeat Lore. Since Moriarty was created to defeat Data, it stands to reason that he would be able to defeat his twin brother. It was also hinted at that while this is the last voyage for the series Picard, that it may not be the last time the crew from The Next Generation are seen on screen together. Patrick Stewart has been quoted multiple times in 2022, stating that he still wants to do another movie with the cast from The Next Generation, and Jonathan Frakes also seemed to hint in a tweet that the season may not be the final voyage of the crew. Whatever plans Paramount had for their next movie, have almost definitely been scrapped after losing their latest director this year, as well as a planned release date for the film in 2023. So anything that fans want to see must be on the table, and bringing all or some of the Next Generation cast back to the big screen would be a welcome sight. I put out a video a few weeks ago about this possibility as a way to reboot their movie franchise, and I will leave that here and in the description if you would like to watch that. There was a lot more revealed in the trailer, but I don't really want to repeat myself for people that did watch the video, so if you have not yet, check that video out as well. Well, that is everything I have today, but let me know in the comments if I missed anything. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit that like button if you have enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time on What Did I Miss?